24 hours ago, Netflix debuted Our Father, a true story about an Indiana fertility doctor that used his own sperm without the women consenting. When I opened up Ancestry, I had over 3,000 hints. All of these random names were popping up and it said close family. We all matched the name Klein. Dr. Klein was the best infertility doctor in Indianapolis. I want to start by thanking you to those of you who have watched the film, those who have reached out. You are shocked. You are upset over the lies and the deception that took place right here in central Indiana. You can try to imagine what the siblings feel like this morning. Two of Donald Klein's biological children join us to talk about the documentary, their own story, and what they want you to know. Brittany um, Nelson and Allison Kramer are here this morning. You two just met. Yes. this morning. Um, tell me what it was like seeing each other um, for the first time. It was <laughs> exciting but yeah. also very emotional. Yeah. I know you said, hey, can I hold your hand? Yeah. Um, <laughs> because it's um, really unchartered territory and the things that we're hearing and learning. You saw the movie for the first time yesterday. What was your reaction? Uh, it hurt. My parents didn't ask for it. Mm -hmm. I struggle with who I am. You weren't supposed to be a donor child. You were supposed to be your father's mm -hmm. child through his sperm. He passed away before he knew. Um, do you feel like there is any part of that that you are glad that he didn't know? Or how do you reconcile not being able to share that piece with him more? I struggle. Yeah. Um, I think a part of me wants to be selfish and mm. wish he was here with me, but mm. I'm glad he didn't know. Uh, I think it's, you know, that's something I, I don't know what my mother is going through. Mm. Um, she married him when she was 16. Wow. And to know that, you know, she didn't have a child with him. Allison, you're in the film and as we're watching the film, you know, we think that we know a lot about Donald Klein, basically almost towards the end. And then there's a piece with you where we find out, you know, your parents were colleagues of his. Um, you didn't find out, I mean, you knew Dr. Klein. You had yes. a picture with Dr. Klein. You didn't find out until you were in your late 40s. Right. How did that affect you and your family, and, and how are you doing now? Um. The hardest part for me personally is um, knowing that the man who raised me, who I love dearly with all my heart, that I don't share his DNA. Yeah. Um, my initial reaction was to protect my parents um, and um, knowing that there was no way to keep really that information private. Mm -hmm. We knew it was going to come out and we've all, my parents and I felt it was important to let the story out to try and prevent this from happening again. Um, we're doing fine now. Yeah. Um, it's still very emotional and in some ways feels fresh, mm. but um, we're doing fine. I think it's, that is, um, you know, there were a few siblings that wanted to join you two today, and then at the last minute they decided not to. There are others that really want um, everyone to know about their life and what happened. There are others that are begging to just remain anonymous. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about um, how you navigate um, all the different siblings and, and trying to be authentic to each one and really respecting where everyone is in their journey? For me personally, I only talk about myself mm. and my own story and everyone handles the situation differently. It's an entitled to react however they mm. need to react to protect themselves, their families and such. And I just try to respect that. Yeah. Brittany, I want you to be able to share with anyone watching this morning, um, you wanted to come on today. You want people to know something. What do you think more than anything is the most important um, piece for folks to take away from your story and your truth? I've been through a lot of therapy. Um, 
I struggle with who I am and <clears throat> I don't know what my purpose is, but mm. I, I've stuck by if, if this is my purpose to, to, to be here for someone that mm. needs someone to talk to. Um, ah. I just met her today and, you know, the, I think there's already a mm -hmm. bond, you know. <laughs> I know when you guys said, I mean, you look in the eyes. Um, and you can see that you share the same eyes and um, I just want to thank you because even just with the film you know just coming out I have probably a hundred different email and, and within those four or five that are saying I think that I, I'm gonna get a DNA test Dr. Klein was my doctor um, and you will be able to be there for someone else and I want to thank you for being brave and um, I can only imagine the purpose that you have is so much greater than maybe what you feel right now. So thank you, and thank you thank very you. much. I appreciate you.